505. Every week we have a segment on Wake Up Washington called The Why. It's where we look into questions we all have, but we rarely get answers yeah, to. So today our Why guy, Evan Koslov, looked into questions about the Metro and those really long escalators. Here's something that red line riders know really well. These escalators take forever to get down to the platform. Like seriously, it's still going. We watch you every morning. Oh, you watch? Yeah. Good. Get up BC and all that. Oh, great. Well, I'm glad you watch. All in all, this took about five minutes to get down. Yeah, these stations are deep. Take this one at Forest Glen. It's the deepest one in the system at about 195 feet. In fact, it's so deep, it has elevators, not escalators. Then there's this one. Woodley Park, it's second on the list at 150 feet. And don't get me started on some of the escalators in this system. Take this one over at Wheaton, it's the longest in the system at 115 feet. It's the largest escalator in the hemisphere. I'm Seth Feld and I work with Evan. Even upper management notices all this. That guy works for the company that owns Channel 9. He visits all the time and he had that question. Why is the metro so deep? I mean, it's like halfway to China. Well, Seth, it might not surprise you that the answer lies in geology. Basically, engineers say you could build these stations in two materials, in soil and in rock. No, not that rock, this rock right here. Basically, they say this type of rock is sturdier, it protects buildings more, it's just better. But here's the problem. In most of the city, especially the more southeast you go, rock is just too deep in the ground. It's unrealistic. So instead, they use soil. But over here along the north side of the red line, they had this just big opportunity. Basically, the rock is a whole lot closer to the surface, so they just went for it. They dug down deep, got that rock, and built the station there. Hey Evans, there's one other factor here. You have to dodge the waterways. Take this stretch right here, where it's in between Woodley Park and DuPont. That's where Rock Creek is. So they had to dig really deep to get underneath the water. That's, That's pretty, pretty cool. cool. Well, another reason that these trains are so deep is about what's above ground. Take DuPont Circle, for example. If they did a shallow dig to build that station, it would have created a mess. We're talking traffic concerns and blocked off roads. It also could have put the old buildings along Connecticut Avenue at risk. So instead, they did a deep dig. So that's the answer. Now you know why the Metro is so deep.